Welcome to today's fantastic tutorial. Today you are going to learn how to create the mockups in Adobe Photoshop. Mockups are very useful for building the brand. Using the mockups you can market your brand all over the internet. So we can create the mockups using the books or the desktops or other wall frames. So in today's episode I am going to show you how you can create mockups and you can change any image or you can replace the image or the main image very easily using the very simple and easy to follow technique. So let's get started. Alright so first of all go to the file select new and create a new document and that should be let me choose the pixels and that should be 1920 by 1080 you can choose whatever size you want but i'm going for this one and resolution to be 72 because we are going to use it for marketing purpose or posting on the web so 72 resolution is fine and you can rename it like mock-up okay and press ok that way it will it will create a new document and now let's bring in our mock-up main image so i'll go to the images and I will find the image of this yes desktop so I'm placing it over here and now it is perfectly fixed and now what we are going to do we are going to create a mockup so that we can place something inside this screen or our own image or our own logo etc or our main uh, what it is called the wallpaper or the banner okay so here in I'm just showing you the technique using which you can add anything to this screen all right so first of all we'll create a new blank layer and then we'll come over here so we'll select the rectangle tool from here and now from this fill menu we'll select the white color you can choose any color you want but i'm choosing white so that i can clearly see what i'm creating and then i'll click and drag it around something like this okay so that it covers the entire screen and press enter and that way it is going to create one new shape over here and now i'll right click and select convert to smart object and that way it would be converted into the smart object and i'm going to rename it as image or change image here all right so that we get to know change image okay and now as you can see at the moment this is not perfectly fixed with fixed with the uh, this screen fixed in the screen so what we can do we'll press ctrl t or command t to have the access to this and then we'll lower down its opacity so that we get to see what area we want to cover in and we'll right click and select uh, distort and we'll click one corner and drag it on this side okay so we'll find all the corners and we'll match them perfectly and this one as well let's see over here okay and once you are happy press enter and now increases opacity to 100% and now our mockup is almost ready now what we are supposed to do we just need to double click and it is going to open a new document over here and now here we need to replace our main image so I'll bring a new image which is i think uh, this one i'll click and drag it over here and i'll resize it to fit it in the background and press enter and now what i what i need to do i'll just need to press ctrl s or command s s and now if i'll just come back over here on this main r main document i'll click it and now boom the image has perfectly been placed inside this screen okay and if you want the further uh, enhancement to, to this image what you can do as you can see over here we have some lights and this all over here we have some reflection so we can add that as well to give it a realistic look so for that purpose again we'll create a new blank layer and we'll come over here select the rectangle tool will this time again we'll take the fill color as white okay and we'll click and drag it 
up to something like this okay and it would create a shape for us and now we'll need to press ctrl t or command t and we'll right click and select distort and we'll click and drag one of the corner okay so we'll create something like this and this one over here and let me resize it so that it get fixed on this point let me just show you this one i want to fix it on over here okay and once it is happy i right click and select scale and click and drag it over here okay and press enter or check this mark and it will show you this warning that it is going to change it into a regular path so i'll press ok i don't have to problem don't have worry with that and now as you can see this is not creating the reflection which i want so what we can do simply we'll press alt or option and hover our mouse between these two layers okay and we'll click here once and that way this reflection would be visible only on this layer where, wherever this image is and you can see over here now it is perfectly fixed and now we need to change this layer blend mode to soft light and we'll lower down its opacity okay so you can check the difference this was before and this is after so it has added a little bit light over here okay so that it looks realistic okay and if you want you can play with the opacity as well if you want too much you can do that and there is one more thing which we can do and that is by creating a new mask clear mask over here and we'll come over here on the gradient tool and we'll select this black to white gradient and we'll press ok and make sure you select this one this linear gradient okay and now we'll click and drag it outside so that way what it is going to do it is going to remove it from this side and being visible on this side but we want a result of reverse of it so we'll press ctrl i or command i to inverse the mask and now you can see the difference this was without the mask and this is after the mask okay now it has made it or blended it correctly so you can see the difference and now if you want to change your image you can simply come over here on the change image here and just double click it it is going to open in a new document and bring in any image which you want so i'll just click and drag it over here resize it to fix it and press enter we'll press ctrl s and just leave it uh, close it and this would be fixed automatically over here all right and let me just save it so i'll call it mockup press save and ignore this warning okay let me just close it i think i have mistakenly closed it let me open it once again so now this has been opened and i'll just double click it and you can see you can choose whichever image you want to be placed over here and that would be updated over here in real time so this is our final result which we have created this is a mock-up you can place even a logo over here using the same technique and that way you can easily build your brand or that would help you to build your brand so this is very useful for branding purpose you can even sell your mock-ups online on various websites like uh, envato.com or envato.com yes envato.com or graphicriver.com this is of the this is the same site which has lots of lots of mock-ups and they are being sold like a hot cake on that website so you can do that as well thank you so much i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial and if you like today's episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel and subscribing is absolutely free you don't have to pay anything for subscribing all you have to do you have to hit the red button below this video and you will be subscribed to this channel and that way you will not miss any new video from me and if you want to support this channel you can check out my pro tutorials and you can get them with huge discount there is a link in the description section as well 
I would also request you to join my Facebook group which is called the Lens of You which is a community for photographers, Photoshop artists and building and there you can get the feedback, you can ask questions, you can promote your photography services or photos or your work. So please do join that. There is a link to that as well in the description section below. So thank you so much. Bye bye. See you in the next episode.